look, all set for the first ball. Here's Mohamed Hussein on strike. Right as the man with the ball for the Lions, and he starts with a short wide one. And Zawan there, pulling that one into the leg side. Gets off with a boundary. Now a thick outside edge, and early wicket for Ryaz, a bit of a fumble there, but managing to take it in the end. Yeah, early wickets are very important here. As he just works that down towards mid-wicket, looks for Pierce the gap, should be four runs. Uh, just punched down the ground for four. Very good batting by Sawa. Too sore earlier on in, well, all weak near enough. Mana Raman Azawa there. Plays that one just behind square for four runs. Oh, Shot one there. Punches that one over mid wicket for four more runs. Ooh, and Azawa has put that one. Gone long and will oh, be catch, taking a catch. mid wicket. Yeah, now that was so our innings come to an end. 25 of 13 deliveries. Big wicket here for the Sri Lankan Lions. Well held. Well judged catch as well. Again, thick outside edge. Despairing dive by the keeper. But Sifian does get enough on it to send it to the boundary for four. Was a bit lucky there with that boundary. It doesn't say outside edge in the scorebook though. Exactly right there, Adrian. It does on this replay, unfortunately, for Sufjan. Pack I care. Good it's shot. Insane. Moves to the offside. And just lifts that over into the leg side, but well fielding in the end. That brings Khan on strike, and he, again, he works that one on into the leg side, but it will be cut off again. There's a run Ruin out. the man, but run out opportunity, and Good ruin the man again. out there at square leg. Get in the run out. That's he's the back. Of Minas Khan. He will be replaced by Scott Austin in the middle. We know how quick a runner is Scott Austin. And he's up to uh, up against Roshan, who's okay, a very good He bowler. works that one out into the offside. They're it's going for two, error. but you have to feel Scott Austin was too late setting off. Yeah. Seemed like an eternity. Yeah, unlike him. I think uh, no, nah, he wouldn't have made it otherwise. Either, but uh, again, a good throw, and the keeper did really well. The, a decent score. So he puts his first and ball high in the air. Has that been the fielder? And it's gone all the way for six. So he gets off the mark. Six desperately needed runs for the Cypress Mufflons. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, Manu Sain just. And because that's another again, good swing, and it's another boundary. Almost teasing yeah, the fielder more. out there, Ruan. So the final two balls there going for 10 runs in total. Ending their innings then. All set now with Mohamed Yameen coming in for the first ball of the Sri Lankan Lions reply. A very well bowled delivery. Just tee off from ball one. It's a done there. Just kissing the top of Bales, does you mean? Gets that early breakthrough. He's ecstatic. And there was that swing that was an offer, what I was talking about. Look at that coming back and then just taking the top off. It just off kisses stump. the bail, doesn't it? Just yeah. a, a little extra bound. Looked like it was just swinging in the air and then just hold his line. Thanks. On strike, chance of a run out and big decision, he's gone. So Kamara has to depart without facing a ball. This is an absolutely fantastic start by the Cyprus Mufflons. Kamara was miles gone. For Taranga, a just straight that ball's gone high in the air. Won't, unfortunately, be able to be taken by a fielder as they're both chasing after it. First boundary uh, for the Sri Lankan Lions, and it's a much needed boundary as well. A bit of luck there, as you can see a, a leading edge uh, flying over the short man area. Ball with the new ball. Um, and that's, just, and, that's, and that's exactly why. Good catch by Scott Austin. He's pumped. The Mufflons are pumped. On this opportunity. See, that's it, gone like a bullet to Scott Austin there. there. It was there to be hit, but he just picked up, uh, picked out the fielder there. 
Oh. And uh, he has a big he's appeal, out. and it's he's given. Um, unbelievable scenes here. And the celebration, the look at the celebration on his knees on the pitch. Mohamed Yamin, he's ecstatic. Some great bowling here from Yamin. Look at that, that looks out to me. What do you reckon there, Adrian? For me, that's as dead as a dodo. He's not really sure about that shot. The it's missing off, it's selection. missing leg, and it's hitting middle, halfway up. Oh, you see that? Yeah, is he just Down the leg side for four. Strength. That ball beautiful is just shot. flicked off his legs for it's six. It's huge six. With a big six off of his pads. Just a he flick. Just take takes a couple of paces down the wicket there and just flicks it all the way for six. So it's Wakarali's final delivery of his first over then. And it that's looks, a big shout strange. and yeah. given. And Ruan unfortunately has to depart going through the blender. Yeah, they looked uh, very straight to me. That one is... <laughs> looked like, a little, uh, like he rolled his finger over it. It looked like a slower ball. Uh, just dipped on the batsman. He didn't expect it. Ranankan Lions. Does he just stray slightly down the leg side there? That's going to raise. Pathy Rana. Oh, a little Ooh. bit of a miss to it. It gets uh, the Sri Lankan Lions a, a much needed boundary. Sri nice fans and well swept there by Pathy Rana. He got low and got, got his hands through that ball quickly. Pathy Rana there playing that one out towards mid wicket and goes again for four. Your side. It's and again, he works that into mid wicket for another four runs. Is that one, uh, Makarali appealing for the catch and given. Good take down the leg side. Have a look again. So it is Patty Rana, the man to depart. You feel with him going, so do the chances of the Sri Lankan Lions. He was the only one that really got going. And, and he starts and he's one. knocked him over. First ball. So Wakarali will be on a hat trick. And he picks up his third wicket there. And this is uh, exactly what you need to do is just ball full and straight, wicket to wicket. So that one a bit fortunate. Looks to have come off. Come off of his back pad there. But a good good ball nonetheless. It beat him all ends up and bowled him. Now oh, wrapped on the pass. Big yeah, decision and he's got it! Hat trick <laughs> in the final <laughs> by Wakarali. The muff launcher, Cocker Hoop, make his decision. As you can see there, just hitting on that back leg. Easy decision in the end for the umpire. Yeah, and there's the opportunity it's straight it's to Captain Mohammed and saying, you can't buy that kind of vision, Vivian Kingma. It's not for sale in the shop. Look, Winnesing picks up his much deserved wicket that leaves the Mufflons one wicket away from sealing the Fanco Cyprus Encore and then being crowned champions and a big appeal hey, and given that seals it for the Cyprus Mufflons look when they're taking the final wicket the Cyprus Mufflons have won the Cyprus Fanco Encore They've won by 44 runs, a big margin of victory for them. Commiserations to the Sri Lankan Lions. Batsman didn't well. look happy with that uh, decision, but I did hear a, hear a noise. And his bat doesn't look close to his bat or to the ground. So a look. Or maybe he did hit the ground there, but nonetheless, the yes, did. did deserve this win. They've been phenomenal this whole tournament. Did have They've been absolutely, uh, rightly said, phenomenal in this whole tournament. They have only lost one on their way to the final. And they've just absolutely annihilated the Sri Lankan Lions batting order.